Hi everyone, welcome to lesson three of Lockdown Learning. We've got myself and Mr Buckley who's going to talk to you through the short term effects of the respiratory system. But before we do that, what we're going to do today is we're going to do 40 seconds work and 20 seconds rest of six different activities, which my fantastic aid is going to demonstrate for us. And before we start and talk about what happens during exercise, when we're breathing all the time, what we probably don't realise is when the air comes down into our lungs, uh, something occurs at the very bottom, the very end of our lungs, called the alveoli. And what happens there is something called gaseous exchange. And if we just break that down into its simplest terms, gaseous exchange, it just means the exchange of gases. So it's the diffusion of oxygen into the bloodstream and carbon dioxide out of blood into the lungs so we can then breathe it back out. Now that obviously helps us when we exercise because we need that oxygen in our bloodstream which can work with our cardiovascular system to allow the blood to be transported around the body. So when we exercise, we obviously need more oxygen in order to make sure that our muscles continue to work. So what happens is our breathing rate increases. And if we increase our breathing rate, it means we're breathing in more oxygen every single time we breathe. Okay? Now at this point, I'm going to ask Mr Buckley to demonstrate our first two activities. And you'll notice, as soon as he's finished them, his breathing will have got slightly quicker. So we've got alternate lunges. For 40 seconds, and then we have quick feet for 40 seconds. Now, if you were to do that for a prolonged period of time, like you're doing your circuit, you'll notice that your breathing rate's got a little bit faster. Now, your breathing rate, when it's normal, is called tidal volume. And tidal volume is your depth of breathing. It's how deep your breaths are during a regular breath. Now, when you exercise, you can't necessarily control how fast you're breathing, so your tidal volume actually increases. So not just our breathing rate, but the depth of our breathing also increases, which means, again, we're getting more oxygen into our lungs and therefore into our bloodstream. And Mr. Buck is now going to demonstrate our next two. Again, you'll notice his breathing will get, obviously, a little bit heavier now as well. So he's going to do high knees, followed by squat jumps. Obviously, we have those two combined, our breathing rate and our tidal volume, they both increase, which means how quick we breathe and how deep we breathe increase. And what that combined means is our minute ventilation. And minute ventilation means how much oxygen we're breathing in per minute. And that obviously increases when we exercise. So all three things we've spoken about so far, breathing rate, tidal volume, and minute ventilation, they all increase when we exercise, and the aim is to meet the oxygen demand that our body requires. We need more oxygen in order to work. Our uh, next two, our last two activities in the circuit, are mountain climbers, as you'll see. Lovely form. And squat thrusts. Lovely form. Fantastic. Okay. And that's it for short-term effects of exercise in the respiratory system. Have a good one.